last time when we were doing a stunt in the car, he's like this. You know what I'm talking about. Apparently there's some wheels here. I'm not sure if they're for the C8 or the Huracan. I'm really hoping they're for a proper Italian supercar. The Huracan. Somewhere in here, somewhere. Let's see. Oh, oh wheels, new wheels. Dave? What's up? Hey. I found your new wheels, dude. It is going to be so sick. Now, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We are in August Garage's wheel warehouse. We just had a new set of wheels delivered for one of the cars. We don't want to give it away yet, but Brixton Forge absolutely killed it. I would imagine. I'm trying not to die because I'm standing on very wobbly tires. What, is that them? I'm pretty sure these are your Corvette wheels. <laughs> these wheels are tailor-made for your Corvette. Those are not my Corvette. Well, those are Corvette. Those are not my there Corvette. Six Those are not, no, 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 no. Okay, box. okay, we're going over to the real wheels. They're right over there. <gasps> Alright, guys. One of our cars. By the way, it's like 44 degrees here today. It's the desert. I could potentially die in this car today. One of them. It's getting a complete makeover. Wheels is one of the first modifications you should do in your car. It gives it the craziest, freshest new look. Now, we have four cars in our fleet that don't have wheels. There's two cars for each of us. You yeah. have your Huracan, yeah. you have your Squadra. I have the 720, I got the C8. Right. I get the wheels today. Well, hold on. Let's go in perspective of the whole, whole enchilada of our fleet. All your cars have wheels. None of mine have wheels. Stock wheels. You just said all car my cars for... have wheels. I said two of my cars don't have wheels. Well, you can't say all my cars the have wheels. Of averages, the That's average, not how it works. The average of your cars have wheels. My two the cars The average is. Stock wheels in the car for a year. I got now. you wheels on the McLaren. You had wheels in your McLaren. My McLaren's got no wheels. First of all, this is one of the biggest modifications you can do on a car. Because right now, these cars all have stock wheels. OEM wheels from the McLaren, pretty cool, but a little basic, fanny looking. The wheels on the Squadra, I actually really like these. I don't think you should change them. Just so I can get my wheels today, these wheels are actually pretty sick. Gloss black, really clean. I like that spoke design. These need to be changed. I do Whoa. agree. These need to be changed. Why are you going to pick on my cars, bro? C8 wheels aren't that bad. They're actually pretty sick. These actually look good when the car's rolling. These wheels are the most basic, bitch wheels you can yeah that's the twelve thousand dollars from lamborghini you that's the worst the part who wants to pay twelve thousand dollars for these i took them off immediately sell them for twelve thousand dollars so hype them up a little bit these so, are the best wheels you can get for a lamborghini so look we have a brand new set of bricks and forge wheels that is going to go on one of these cars can you guess where these are going to go because we're about to unveil the wheels and then you're gonna see which car it's going on. Okay, it's time to finally unbox these and at least show you guys what we've got for the car. You might not have any clue what this is for. And we're cutting. I'm really excited because these were like four or five weeks overdue just due to COVID. And boom, it's a black foam wheel. It's the first of its kind. There you guys have it. That's it. That's what it looks Where like. Are. No more mystery. What car is that for? Let's mount some tires. One, two, three. Huh. Well, there's a, hold on. There's a whole nother cover on the cover. They really protect these. They're covered. Do you get it, guys? Can you guys covered. see? Can you see what, what wheel they are yet? And they're... Uh, one of my favorite details is this little Ford carbon center cap. So sick. What are you doing? We need to go and have some lunch. Oh, let's change the water over. Dude, Fun night, fact. night janitor. Night janitor is what you are. When here. I was at like 14, my job was to fill these with a water plant. I used to fill these. I was like 88 pounds trying to lift these things up. My dad, my dad owned the company to yell at me. Flex, my dad owned the company. Okay, we're going for lunch. Will they put the wheels on the car? When we get back, we'll reveal the whole thing. In the meantime, we're gonna go have some fun with a very special car that is back to the channel. That's right. The Murcielago. And there she is. Doors go up. Dave, show them. Show them the doors, show them the doors, show them the doors. Why'd you have to set off the alarm? Okay, it's like a Oven in here, dude. It's regular 30 degree burn right away. People don't understand how hot it is. It's today. like 180 degrees right here, I think. Convert it from Celsius. Oh, we got some merch! We got some merch! Woo! Where'd you get that shirt from? Uh, ChuffDD.com. That's right, you guys! Woo! Links are in description. Got the shifter, the shifter's metal. Oh, yeah. You know how hot that is? Hot. It burnt my hand. Hotter than a son of a Get in there, Mike! <laughs> Italian air 
conditioning. We drive with the doors up. Oh, leather, oh. black leather. Ah, ah. You think that's hot? Touch this. I seriously touch it. Holy sh! Holy! <laughs> seriously, it's so hot. Woo! Air conditioning. Italian air conditioning with the doors up. So for right now we're in a heat wave. It's about 38 degrees Celsius. But in Fahrenheit, Jamie will add right here. Oh, look how hot it is in Fahrenheit. Oh, I love this car. Heat is shifter. So hot? It's so hot. How's the car feel? I haven't been in this car yet. God, that sounds good. It's amazing. Look at this thing. Look at the presence this car has on the ground. It's everything that embodies a supercar. And this is the true supercar, in my opinion. This is not the modern, easy to drive. This is not an easy car to drive. Apparently, I can't even park it. Look how crooked I am. That's one hell of a Lamborghini full park job. It's so aggressive looking. It's super low to the ground. And again, you have to actually work to drive this car being a manual. All right, guys, lunch is over. It's so freaking hot out. I know we keep talking about it, but seriously, I'm like dying right now. We've talked about building Dave's car. The 720 has so much potential. One of my favorite features of the Tire Slayer is the chassis mounted wing. One of my favorite cars of all time is the P1, but more importantly, the P1 GTR. People took that car, it was supposed to be like a track only car, and they somehow made it so that it could be road going. Now, I want to create a 720 GTR. I want to get a longer extended carbon front splitter. I want way more aggressive side skirts. And I want to find a way to build a chassis mounted wing. I'm going to have to find a proper engineer and have that all set up properly because I don't want to disrupt the arrow on that car. There's a lot of tech and arrow in a McLaren. So that is the plan. The overall scheme is to build a McLaren 720 GTR. Now, I had a friend online that I've met just through the internet who does renders of cars and he made me a render of potentially what my 720 GTR could look like you guys and I'm gonna show you guys right here so you can see how insane that looks now obviously making a render and making a render to reality are two different things but we're gonna do our best so there you have it now you know kind of the uh, the road for the 720 so to speak All right, I'm totally gonna tease you guys. The issue boxes here that say DD on them and agency power for my G-Wagon, my G63. This is a lift kit. No, I'm not gonna sell them today. And no, I'm not gonna tell you how tall I'm going. I want you to guess below. This is a two inch lift, three inch, four inch, six inch. This is a 12 inch. Tires from X-Comp are on the way. As soon as the tires get here, we're lifting the G-Wagon. All right, Mike, you son of a you go for a cruise? I'm ready. We have a surprise for you. Patiently waiting Damon to come around the corner. And what you're driving today. He's you're coming in a Prius, baby. isn't he? It's not a Prius. There you go, Mike. Ready, and boom. You guys, there it is. The new Brixton oh, wheels. look? Amazing, dude. Brixton killed it, man. Doesn't have to run anyone over. That's all you, Mike. Mike's driving it. He's excited. Mike, excited. this is you. I haven't driven one yet. I'm giving Except the keys to Mike. Mike is a billionaire because he's the only one that has enough money to replace this baby. Now, all jokes aside, you guys, the wheels look absolutely amazing. These are completely forged, machined out of one solid big block of aluminum or however you want to say it. Uh, they killed it. They do this thing on the R-Series line where they do this machined lift. Which I thought was really cool because it was not like it was planned, but the stock wheel came with like a flat face, big fat machine lip, and I didn't really like it. But this is a much more tasteful way to do it. Shadow keeps standing on the wheel, Mike. So Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike's been working out. Yeah. I got my bottle of the world's wettest water, August water. Let me put it in the Mercy Lago bottle holder. That's where it is right there. Throw her into first gear. By the way, this is the weirdest part. There's some weird things about this car. First of all, the seatbelt goes from your right shoulder over towards the door, not the opposite way. And the park brake is like sloopy, sloopy, floppy, whatever you want to call it. So you got to pull it up, pull it up one little bit, push the button in, and that's how you release the park brake. Let's hit the road. Hey, you ready to do this or what? I'm ready, you ready? Yeah, 
Takes it must be that supercharger 4192. How's that possible? Yeah, well, I had, I had 99% of a tank. You put 130 in it and you've driven it and at no. not at all. I know. How'd you put another 40 in it? That's welcome to V12 life. Oh, nice shirt. Always good. Always must be a huge fan of Dave. I heard him say Dave. He didn't say Damon, did he? Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, my pleasure. See you, Dave. Have a good day, guys. He said Dave and he said bye to Dave. I don't even think he knows who I am. I think he thinks I'm your handler. I think he thinks this car is your car. Thank God. You ready to go? <laughs> you watching okay. at home, ready to go? Dave's ego just. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. Driving a manual while drinking. And there's no cup holders in here, so you gotta accelerate, switch hands, shift, hand back on the wheel, or take hand off the wheel, shake hand, or shit, shit, change hands. <laughs> Apparently, I can't do more than one thing at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, signal with drink in hand. Accelerate, shift, clutch in, exchange hands, drink. Change hands, hold steering wheel, shift. It's really not that complicated. Smell something. Yeah, something ain't right. Woo! Well, hey. It made it, what, 10 kilometers? She lives another day not to burn to the ground. Someone to bring a different car. Good thing you have lots of cars. <laughs> Good thing I have lots of cars. Billionaire, spoken like a true billionaire. 